Hey, so today's video, I got a question today from one of my subscribers. Um, uh, I'm sorry. One of my subscribers asked me, um, what to do when you come in a situation where a person that you could, basically they want to know, should I still continue to date someone who doesn't really embrace my views on naturality? answer to that question is no I'm, and hold up wait there's more there's more and I'm gonna tell you why you should cut off a relationship like that um I believe I did a video like this sometime in the past god I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to post the link up to the video but it's mostly guys that put these women on a pedestal and they put so much pressure on these women. Like, I was thinking about this today. I was thinking about what to talk about today with you guys. And it it disturb it really disturbs me that men honestly think that women are supposed to behave like they see in the media. Women are not supposed to cook. I mean, it's a it's a plus. Women are not supposed to be extremely girly or Women are not supposed to always come out their house made up. Women are not women don't have to really do anything. Okay? They were created from us, but they don't give you the right to tell them what they should and shouldn't do. I'm sorry for my guy subscribers, if you think in that mentality, I think that's a pretty effed up way of thinking that a woman should be like I mean, don't get me wrong, some women should stay in their place which is suitable for them, but you don't tell a woman like, I hate when, I'm sorry, I'm getting up top, but I hate when guys threaten or give that women, give their women the ultimatum of, I'm going to leave you if you cut your hair. You know, they joke around and be like, if you cut your hair, and trust me, I'm, I'm bouncing. For what? Are you feeling emasculated because this girl want to, this woman, I'm sorry, this woman wants to take a deeper chapter in her life? Like, whoa, 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 what the fuck? Like, for real, excuse my French, but it really, it really moves me. I've seen women who've been with guys for years at a time and when a woman decides that she want to take that big step in her life which is a really big life-changing step the guy want to get all dumb and ignorant and just leave them and be like you know what i want to move to something you want some i'm not calling my process people fake i'm not calling my people who get their hair straightened with chemicals on. i'm not calling them fake but if you want this woman who feels like she's living in the wrong life to portray something that is not real to her anymore you're fake i'm sorry you are fake you want her to portray something that is not real all you guys who walk around talking about some yeah i want a real down to earth chick i want somebody that's gonna be ride or die fucking ride or die she gonna ride and die with you if you ride and die with her it's a two-way street you don't you don't do that to people you really i'm sorry you don't tell people what you think they should um do now when i give um suggestions i say you know from your discretion i think I'm just saying, you would look really good natural. Some women get offended when I compliment them in their natural state. That's how fucked up the media is. And excuse my French again. That's how messed up the world is. The world is, women are so deeply rooted into beauty and the manifestation of materials being into their body and their lifestyle that they get consumed by it. They get consumed by it. And you know what? I don't mind being classified as a stereotype. I don't mind being a black guy with dreadlocks or being artistic. Because you know why? At least I'm different. At least I'm, I'm not with the rest of the guys out there doing God knows what, you know? Or for the women out there, at least they're not out there doing what, you know, God knows what. You feel me? So guys, if you're out there not supporting these women, you're losing out on some pretty damn, you some treasures, Okay? some treasures a woman will love you twice as much more if you just give her the moral support of just being there if just just letting that woman know you know what baby if you want to cut off your hair and look like freddie jackson baby you go ahead and do it i'm gonna be right here i'm not going nowhere and that's the type of man i am i'm not going nowhere you could lose your head to leukemia your hair could fuck your hair could burn off from sparklers at the fourth of july parade i mean you could have gum in your hair and you could have to cut it off and you'd be looking like something from you know, plan of the apes, but just, I don't care. Are you happy? Are you comfortable? 
are you able to come to me with anything? Any, you know, if you need any help, anything, if, are you still able to do it? Are we still have that connection? Like, do we still have that, that vibe going on? You feel me? Like, I, my women out there, my women subscribers, anybody that's looking at this video that's a woman, let them go. Okay? If they can, I'm telling you, if they can support you in something little as this, you know, it's little to them because they, they think nothing of it, but it's major to you, of course. But if they can't support you, they're not supposed to be in your life. Don't hold on to that because it will eat at you. It will eat at you and you will continue to live the life that you think is right. It ain't right. It ain't right for nobody to tell you how you should dress. It ain't right for nobody to tell you how you should wear your hair. You feel me? Um, I'm sorry. I got that really. That, that, that just really bothers me. Like, you a jerk. You really are a jerk. I'm sorry. You're a jerk. Um, and I, there are just too many beautiful women out here and beautiful men. You know? And the reason why I say beautiful men, because they have men out here who truly, who really want to accept these natural women as they are. But you know what? Miss Pretty Longweave wants to, to go with um, Mrs. Slanger Rock, you know, because she think that's what her life is supposed to, you know, that's what her life, how can I put it? She think that's what her life deserves. Uh -uh. When you go natural, you deserve everything that's supposed to be given onto you. You deserve royalty, okay? Hello, somebody. Can I get an amen? I mean, you deserve you deserve royalty. I mean, come on. What woman doesn't want to be catered to? What woman doesn't want to be feel, you know, treated as if she's, you know, a regal, you know, royal... I don't know how to put it, but it's something about... A, and I'm going to tell you another thing. Something about natural women that I love, they radiate natural beauty, like rays, like... You know when they're in the presence. It's it's the most beautifying, soul quenching. I don't know. It's magical. It's it's like a magical sense. And to see a woman fully happy and extremely ecstatic, it, it it's just mind blowing. I'm sorry. I've I've seen far too many women go natural. Who are actually in the lifestyle and they love it and they've embraced it and they're so much comfortable in their skin and it, I don't know it just make you want to smile and be like I like you 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 cute you pretty like it 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 brings out innocent tendencies you could say um at the same point you know once you're naturally i think you're much more wise i know a lot, i mean i know a lot of dumb natural people but <laughs> i'm sorry i know a lot of dumb natural people but when you're you know when once your um natural innocence has been brought back into your life you know and and i just can't i can't really describe it, but women keep being natural you be natural to the day you damn die okay and don't let no guy, don't let no, don't let your brother, don't let your sister, don't let your mom, don't let no one tell you what you should and shouldn't do. You know, natural is the right way to go. And if they don't like it, oh well, send them to this video so they can see what I have to say. And you know, I ain't gonna have to say anything pretty. You feel me? But I love y'all, and I won't keep y'all long because this this video is running kind of long. Um, Quaduces. So check me out, guys. Um, you already know my channel, Who Knew All Six, of course. But always, hey, tune into Naughty Dread TV for all my locked people and natural people. You know, I want y'all to come over there too. Come look us up, and um, we'll just chat it up. You know, we'll have a really good time. So I love y'all. I gotta get out of here. Got to go.